Well, I knew it was coming. Mind you, it still hurt a bit. I know, first world problems to the extreme. However, this is me on the 28th of June, beginning final approach to Marseille. Why Marseille? Well, British Airways has a handful of flights that leave from Terminal 3 Heathrow, and Marseille is one of them. And Terminal 3 has more than a handful of one world first and business class lounges, which as a BA gold card holder, Emerald Status One World, I had access to all of them. My last days of gold and I was going out in style. Not really a blaze of glory, more an indulgence of champagne and clotted cream. But where first? Where do I start? Well everyone said there had to be Cafe Pacific for lunch. It was getting on for that time. So, let's go and see what Cafe Pacific London Heathrow Terminal 3 looks like. Now, minus the tea room that they have in Hong Kong, it's very, very similar to the business class and first class lounges at Cafe Pacific Hong Kong. I couldn't get too much footage of the dim sum bar. There were too many people enjoying it. And I think my next visit to T3, that will be my first port of call. things about solo travel is meeting people and today's lounge crawl was no disappointment. On the next table was Morgan, what a gent, perfect restaurant manners, as an ex sommelier I do like to see that. And it soon became obvious neither of us was flying Cafe Pacific, it was just that we both knew Cafe Pacific had the only formal a la carte restaurant open. So we indulged in Hong Kong's finest hospitality and then headed off to British Airways first lounge. Now as you know, I was flying BA and Morgan was flying American. And the reason we'd both gone, Cafe Pacific, was for the restaurant. What neither of us knew at that point was American had just opened their flagship first lounge with an a la carte restaurant. Well, if you're watching mate, you know for the next time. And I'll show you all around in a minute. British Airways wine cellar is the best in depth. That's the reason to visit their lounge at T3. They have a huge range and as they buy and lay down, their wine offerings have that little bit of age. We enjoyed a Pinot Noir 2017, which was just perfect. Whereas over in the Cafe Pacific, their Pinot offering is a juvenile 2022. Now one thing I must say is I much prefer the first lounge over in T5 as this felt very flat and void of personality. This, of course, was totally academic, as I wouldn't be allowed in either of them come the weekend. So, I thought this was time to mooch around the business lounge in T3 and see what I knew Silver Status had in store. Now, apparently, this lounge only opened last month. Uh, a friend of mine is flying American on Tuesday and looking forward to uh, to visiting. So I think we'll give him a, a quick tour of the first international flagship. We're greeted with candy and champagne. Is that very American? Am I reading a stereotype into there where there is a one? 
Anyway, they're pouring Moe Brute Imperial, both the straight and the rosé, so that's excellent. Lovely views um, of the runway and the gates. Rival airline, of course, but there is an American tail there. It's underneath the tower. The lounge was busy. I did notice American and English pugs in there. That's a good sign. Yeah, as I said, the lounge is busy, so you'll have to excuse the uh, choppy edit here. The buffet was a bit more extensive than I'm showing here. Uh, all your premium drinks, and there is hot food available. But of course, as I mentioned early, earlier, there is the a la carte restaurant. And you know what? It was a day of days. It was time for my second lunch. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Now, I couldn't work out at Qantas if it was a classless lounge or the dining opened at 5pm was there restricted access for first or gold. So, if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. visit the British Airways, American and Qantas business class lounges and you know what I really like them uh, the BA club lounge in particular which had a much better vibe than the first lounge which is handy as is business in the silver bar for you sunny boy for the next few months at least however that vibe and atmosphere comes at a price they're busy places and it's not so great if you're looking for tranquility so I think you'll always find a spot in every lounge and it's also not so good if you're filming. It's just impossible to edit everyone out and I respect people's privacy too much to show on here. Which reminds me, I have a 7am flight out of Heathrow planned so I can do a 5am walk around the business class lounge at Heathrow. And that's another good reason to subscribe to the channel and if you ring the bell YouTube will notify you when I publish that video. Now on the channel you'll also find videos of many of the lounges I've visited whilst holding a gold card from all over the world and the links are in the description to those videos. Well I still have an hour to catch my flight so I think I will return to Cafe Pacific for scones and champagne and a little cheeky plane spotting. Thank you so much for watching and happy travels. <laughs>